quick opening yeah, statement? Yeah, sure. Uh, first of all, I want to thank uh, my seniors for uh, what they've been able to um, accomplish at UMass, both on and off the floor. Those guys have been uh, great to have as ambassadors at our UMass school, and um, you know, I'm appreciative for, for those guys uh, coming to UMass and uh, helping us do some great things on the floor and off the floor. Um, getting to the basketball game, I thought VCU uh, played a great game today. They, they obviously won the game on the backboards, um, you know, with uh, however 20 offensive rebounds that turned into uh, many points. Uh, I thought that was the difference in the game. I thought our guys competed, fought, um, battled. We just didn't do a good enough job of keeping them off the glass, which uh, was something obviously we spoke about, didn't really work on, but we spoke about it, tried to uh, simulate some things that they might try to do, and um, they, were, they were the better team today. All right, we're going to open up for questions for the student athletes. Please hold all questions for Coach Kellogg until we dismiss student athletes back to the locker room. Trey, did it feel a little in, in the first half like like with, with what they were doing defensively? You guys were you guys were try, hanging on with defense, just trying to hoping that the offense would would eventually kind of kind of get going. Um, no, not, I think some of the plays early in the beginning, um, like on two to space. I, I think those we had to put those those balls in early. We got off to a slow start, and uh, I think that that carried over um, the next the next uh, minutes. And uh, they got a little cushion on their league, and um, we weren't able to get over that hump. Did, did their did their steals and block shots disrupt you guys a little bit or, or early on? To how much how much did that affect you guys? Uh, yeah, because they they didn't convert into points, and they end up converting into points for them. So um, our points turned into their points. So uh, that kind of slowed us down. Um, uh, for Rashawn, you obviously lose a lot of good seniors, but what's your feeling about the program moving forward? Uh, the program moving forward, I mean, I feel like we're going we're gonna to be all right. You know, we got a lot of young guys coming in uh, to replace some – some serious vets that we had, you know, like Trey Jabari. Um, they were like, we we're, we're gonna miss them, but you know, we we're gonna have to try to find a way to, you know, uh, create offense, you know, without them now. Uh, it's it's gonna be tough, but you know, as a sophomore next year, we're gonna, I'm gonna have to figure it out. Uh, we're gonna have to figure it out. We're gonna have to figure out where we produce offense at. Trey, you, you've you've played in a lot of games, a lot of minutes. Was there, was there any anxiousness in that second half when they went on their run to, to know that you guys were gonna you're gonna have to really press to kind of kind of pick things up if you wanted to extend that one more game? Uh, I mean, uh, yeah, of course I wanted to extend it, uh, but I don't, I'm never anxious when I play basketball. I don't, I'm, I'm not really I don't like to be anxious, but uh, I mean, they got the the four quick points in the second half, and that really that hurt. We went down from nine to thirteen, and. I mean, that put a dent in what we were trying to do. But, uh, I mean, we, we kept fighting hard, man, and that's, that's all I can ask for. You, you guys went through a tough stretch, and you played better at the end of the season. Will that be something that you take with you, knowing that you, you guys came in here, you won a game, and you, and you played better, a little bit better down the stretch? Uh, yeah, most definitely. Uh, I think we had a good, uh, good uh, last half of the season. But, uh, I mean, <clears throat> I'm happy for the, for, the, for the guys that's still here, man, especially one like Rashawn. I'm glad he got to go through what he got to go through this year, and he under, he understands now. And uh, that's the one thing I just wanted to get through to him, man. You got to work hard, and you can't just be like a day or nothing like that. This is you, you, you want to turn this into your job, and I think he finally understands that. And uh, that was my job, man. I just wanted to get him get him right, and I think next year he 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 understands. He knows what's coming. Rashawn, what made it so difficult keeping them uh, off the offensive glass? Obviously, 20 offensive rebounds. What, what made it so difficult? Um, it's just, you know, uh, they all rebound. You know, there's multiple rebounds. So, you know, they have a, they have a, like, a, they had an advantage on it because a lot of their players, they focus on rebounding. Some of them have players that, they have players that, just, you know, just all they want to do is rebound. And, you know, we had tr we obviously had trouble with keeping them off the glass today. Um, you know, it just was, it was just tough for us today. Tough office rebounding, tough trying to rebound today. Rashawn, how does the last couple of weeks motivate you for the off season and 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 how you want to spend and, and get better? Um, it just it just makes me uh, it just is a push until next year. You know, off season, I'm just going to work on my body, 
work on my skills, you know, try to get in the best shape as I can for next year. And hopefully, you know, we will be back here. We probably uh, advance farther. We, you know, we're going we want to do our what we got to do. It's just it all starts with how I, how I get my body together and and how good of a shape I can get myself into. Did, did this year. give you a taste of of what you can be? Uh, it did. You know, I realized with the trust of my teammates that they gave me and what they were teaching me, like what Trey was teaching me, you know, I just can't be lackadaisical. It's not just gonna give not gonna just come to me. I mean, it taught me to work hard, you know, you know, just, you know, be patient. My time will come and just do what I gotta do just to win games. And the last couple of weeks is what my mindset I had was just to be dominant when I'm in the game. It's just Simple as that. I just got to be dominant and be a low post presence. Um, uh, Trey, how would you describe this season for, for you and for the seniors? I mean, was it bittersweet or what would you say about it? Man, I love this group of guys, man. Through the ups and downs, I love them. Um, I don't know, man. It just you, you have to be on the team to understand what I'm saying. And even though the season over, I'm love love these guys to death, and I'm always be there for them. And uh, it don't stop here. It's more than basketball. Um, these are my brothers for life, so they gonna be hearing from me. I know I'm be hearing from them, and uh, we're gonna be good. All right, thank you, gentlemen. We're now going to turn it over to uh, Coach Kellogg for questions. We're good. Um, Coach, I realize the season just ended, but I guess has Holloway's progress some source of hope for the future? And, and what are you, some of your thoughts on the future moving forward? You know, I think Rashawn um, <clears throat> showed what he's capable of doing in, in short bursts. And, uh, you know, he probably summed up the best as he continues to get in great shape. I think he has a chance to be a, a dominant big man in, in our league. Um, and I'm excited to, uh, you know, obviously work with the guys that we have here as always. Uh, watch them kind of grow and progress and um, kind of incorporate a slew of new guys and see what we can um, get accomplished with this new group of, of players. Even though, um, you know, I'm always looking – at the future of our program, because I think you have to have a three or four year window and see where you're at. Um, and um, I like where I like where we're at, but I like even better where we potentially could be heading. So, uh, a lot of things have to work out in your favor. Um, but uh, we got a good group of people, and uh, we got the right kids that are all going to graduate. Um, and I think that's what college athletics is all about. DK, at what point in the in the game did it feel like? Uh, that it was getting away. Kind of that run of the. Can you talk about that run at the beginning of the second you half? You know, the first four points of the second half bothered me some because I thought we needed to come out and and make a a, a little bit of a push. And um, they they scored the first four, so I called a quick timeout. Um, and they had a nice little burst there where we, um, you know, we hurt ourselves some with uh, our offense at times. And um, you know, they, they're they're a good team. They were they were um, you know they were they were committed to playing their style, and I thought they did a great job on the board. So it was, it was a combination of some different things. Coach, how do you feel about your season? How would you sort of characterize it? Um, well, uh, you know, it's pretty pretty close to uh, just losing our last game, so I haven't had time really to reflect. But I would say, um, you know, I'm proud of our team um, for the way they handled themselves through some adversity. I think we got the right kids um, that fit the UMass um, uh, student athletes and, um, you know, no matter how the season ends, uh, any coach would like to uh, continue to advance and have more wins and play better. Um, so that's always the goal for the future. Um, but these guys uh, set some good groundwork for uh, the younger guys, and um, we're going to continue to push forward and get ready. Derek, uh, Will Wade said that they prepared this week a little extra for you guys, anticipating it would be UMass. Did it feel like they were a little, that they were locked in, that they were? They were they he said were, that, huh? He did, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Did it feel like they, they were really locked in in their game plan and what they wanted to do against you guys? Yeah, I thought they did a, a, a good job. You know, I, they did a good job on our uh, perimeter guys. And, I, I, you know, I think they thought if they could get into a, get into us a little bit. We had a couple guys play 40 minutes, you know, last night, to, uh, two or three of them pretty close to that. Um, 
but they did they did a good job um, of making it hard on our guards to uh, score the basketball. And then uh, I thought they took advantage of the boards. And I thought the, the key thing for them, not only the offensive rebounds, we got a lot of shots blocked at the rim. And that's been an Achilles heel for us at times, not, you know, just throughout the um, season, if we get the shots blocked at the rim, it's two points, but it's two points going away. So those are four point swings. And I thought we had four or five of those tonight that gave them some easy baskets. All right, thank you, coach. All right, thank you.